case of big concrete construction projects like bridges, steel reinforcement bars alone won't be sufficient to provide the necessary tensile strength. In this case, pre-stressed concrete is being used. In pre-stressing, the rods or tendons are stretched along the axis and cement is poured. Later when the tendons are released the compression is generated at the bottom, which tries to counterbalance the compression due to loading at the top part of the beam. The principle behind pre-stressed concrete is that compressive stresses induced by the high strength steel tendons in a concrete member before loads are applied. This will balance the stresses imposed in the member during the service. Pre-stressed concrete can be used for the construction of roofs, floors, walls, and bridges with longer unsupported spans. Pre-stressing is generally done by two methods, pre-tensioned concrete and post-tensioned concrete. Pre-tensioned concrete Pre-tensioned concrete is those in which the tendons are tensioned before pouring of concrete. The tendons are initially tensioned and anchored at both ends and then concrete is poured over it and cured. When the concrete attains desired strength, the tendons are released and projections are cut out. The pre-stress imparts into being through bond action. Post-tensioned concrete. In post-tensioned concrete, the tendons are tensions after the concrete is poured. Initially, the concrete is cast around the sheathing. The ducts are formed in concrete in which tendons are placed. After the concrete is hardened, the tendons are tensioned by hydraulic jacks and anchored. In case of bonded type tendons, the duct is grouted with sufficient slurry. In the unbounded type of tendons, grouting is not necessary. We will learn about this later. Thank you for watching.